Get stronger and healthier with Dr. Joe Esposito on News 95.5 at AM 750 WSB. Well, good afternoon, everyone. You're expecting Monica. Monica is much prettier than me and much, probably much smarter than me, but I get the honor of sitting in for it today. I'm Dr. Joe Esposito. I do a show on 5 o'clock on Sunday mornings, I found out. I thought it was, I, I had messed it up the other day. 5 o'clock on Sunday mornings on WSB, and then 7 to 9, also uh, WSB as well, uh, tomorrow night. So I want you to tune in, 5 o'clock in the morning and 7 to 9, live. Boy, the lines are lighting up already. And uh, we're going to talk about uh, successful uh, ways to lose fat, but we've got so many callers and some people holding, because if you just tuned in, I was a guest on Belinda's show right before this. So let me go back to the callers, because they've been more than kind uh, to hold for us. Mike, how can we make your day better? Hey, thanks for taking my call. You're welcome. Um, I'm actually calling not about weight, but uh, it's harder. actually about toenail fungus. Sure. Uh, I am 38 years old, and uh, I've had toenail fungus on one foot since probably pre-teens, and when I turned in my early 20s, it switched, uh, well, it basically took over on both feet, and I've had it ever since, my entire life, yep. and I got rid of it for about six months one time, and that was by taking the Lamisil, had yeah. to get the liver test and everything. Sure, yeah. Mm-hmm. But um, my my work, I have insurance through my work, but it's still, with healthcare the way it is, it's so expensive <laughs> to go that... Um, yep. You know, it's just a fortune. And the Lamisil, if you get it online, is a fortune, you know, alone. So I I was wondering if there was something maybe you could uh, give me some advice on that. Whenever I see a toenail fungus, I don't think about toenails. I think about the colon. And the reason is in your colon, you have over 100 different types of bacteria, and you also have something called yeast. Now, the yeast is there to help you digest sugars. It's perfectly normal to have yeast in your colon. But if you've done anything, and how old are you? I'm 38. Okay, yeah. So when you were a kid, you might have been given a round of antibiotics, which I'm not against using antibiotics, but the antibiotics can kill off the good bacteria in your colon, but they don't kill off the yeast. So now the yeast start to multiply. They get bored hanging out in your colon. They burrow holes in your colon and get into your blood system. And now you have what's called a systemic yeast infection. And that yeast likes to set up shop in the warm, moist places around your body, like your feet, for example. Yeah. So chances are you don't have a toenail problem. You have a digestive problem, which is causing the toenail problem. So a couple couple of things you might want to consider. Uh, Number one, absolutely positively got to cut sugar out of your diet, which everyone should anyway. So cut all the sugar, breads, cookies, cakes, donuts, pasta, sugar, just got to cut it out, which you need to do anyway, regardless of toenail fungus or not. Number okay. two, um, you can get on supplements. You can go to a health food store. If you call my office, we, we get this call a lot. We have a protocol we've put together, and uh, we can get you on the protocol. Now, when you get on the yeast uh, detox, it usually takes several months because that yeast is set up shop. It's been there since you were a teenager. Mm-hmm. And you got to get in there and try to build up the good bacteria in your colon at the same time trying to kill off uh, the unnecessary yeast. And another trick you can do, and this sounds a little funky and weird, is you can take little slices of garlic and tape it on your toes because the garlic is antiviral. Yes, because garlic is antiviral and it doesn't have, this way it doesn't go into your system and you don't have to check your liver then. You're treating the toenail fungus directly. Now, it's a little challenging if it's on a bunch of toes, but, you know, just take some medical tape and tape a couple of slices of garlic to your toes. Now, you're going to have to do this for several weeks, maybe several months, but this way you don't get the toxic effects. Sure. And then and you're so getting... to, to get the supplements you were talking about, that I, I need to call your office yeah, and, call... and talk to them about that, right? Yeah, call the office during the week. Ask for Kayla. The number is 844-44-DR-JOE, 844-44-DR-JOE. Uh, okay. And Kayla will give you the whole protocol for you. And uh, let's start there, and let's see what we need to do. Okay. Well, thanks a lot for your input, and uh, you have a great show. Love the show, okay? Thanks, Mike. I appreciate the call. And, uh, yeah, folks, and by the way, if you have a question, you can call us here at the station, 844-44-DR-JOE, and that number does ring through to my offices. We have offices in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge when I'm not on the air. And Marilyn, you've been holding for quite a while. How can we make your day better? Did you say Marilyn? I did say Marilyn, yes. Well, good. I love chiropractic, and I, my alarm is set for 5.30 Sunday morning. It wakes me up to you. Ah, how sweet. Don't tell your and husband I, now that you and I are waking up together now. Get right. me in trouble. Now, so. <laughs> Alan, I love your Sunday night show where you can call in, too. Thanks so much. But actually, when you were just talking to the fellow about fun- toe fungus and yeast, that actually is candida, isn't it? Yes, you are correct. And I've been um, 
recently realized that I think that's my problem. I have a lot of coughing and yeast and itching, uh, not yeast, uh, mucus. Uh-huh. and itching and a lot of the symptoms of candida. So I'm going to have to start, uh, you know, treating that. It's tough to get rid of, I'll tell you, even with the medication. Like Mike was saying, even with the medication, if it's kind of set up shop in your body, it's something you have to get on a lifetime plan for. But everyone should be on that lifetime plan because that's the plan to be healthy. So. Well, and I understand it causes a lot of problem, health problems, and it gets worse. Oh, my as, gosh, as yes. you have it, it gets grows faster. Mm-hmm. And um, but then it, I understand that the cleansing is uh, can be very difficult. When the yeast start to die off, then your immune system has to kill to get that dead yeast out of your system. And so some people get on the supplements and start f- feeling worse. And they'll call me up and say, "Well, I'm feeling worse." And I said, "Good. That means the yeast is dying off. So I... take a breath. Don't lose your mind. This is going to be a, a little project we have here." So. Okay. Well, my main thing, reason for first reason for calling, I have a friend who is suffering from herniated disc. Oh yeah. Five, and he's trying to avoid surgery. And I, can chiropractic help that? Uh, many cases, yes. We treat a lot of uh, people with with uh, herniated discs. It depends how bad the herniation is. If there's tearing in what's called the annulus, the fibrosis, the, the disc. But in many cases, we get some amazing results with that. And in fact, a lot of times we'll have orthopedic surgeons or neurosurgeons send us patients and say, "Joe, I want your team of doctors to work on these patients. And if we can't fix it, then bring them back to us. But if you can fix it, at least they're going to be healthy." If we do have to do surgery, they're going to be healthier going into the surgery and healthier coming out of the surgery. So, yeah, I work very closely with neurosurgeon, orthopedic surgeons to work on cases like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, thank you for the information, and I, I really appreciate your, all both your shows. Well, great, Marilyn. Thanks for calling. I do appreciate that. Thank you. And, folks, uh, uh, if you do have questions, uh, you can call us now, 844 Joe, or my website is drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe with a number one Dr. Joe in the world, thanks to you. And uh, my show is heard uh, coast to coast and around the world. So you people have made that happen, too. Marie, how can we make your day better? Yes. I have um, dizziness, and they tell me it's vertical. Yep. And I got crystals in my ear. They kind of do this head maneuver, and they knock the crystals out. Yep, I understand. Then the crystals form again. Right. I'm starting to do it now. Yep. So can what, you help me? Usually when the crystals are forming, your body is too acidic. And the most of us eat acid foods all day, every day. Alcohol, meat, sugar, dairy, coffee, soda, artificial sweetener, breads, cookies, cakes, donuts, pastas. And when the body is too acidic, the body has to neutralize those acids. And the body can use calcium as one of its primary neutralizing agents to neutralize the acids in the food. And many times those crystals, crystals are calcium crystals. So the calcium is in the wrong place, so to speak. So one thing we want to do is really get your diet on a more alkaline uh, path more fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. Uh, I take two supplements. They're sitting here in the studio with me called Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. Excellent as al- at alkalizing the system. And in fact, I think that's the minimum amount of nutrients everybody should be taking every day, and I take it every day. And it's two powders. I mix it with coconut milk, shake it up, and drink it. And so alkalizing the system is A, cutting out the bad acid foods, and B, adding more alkaline foods. The other thing I find with vertigo patients is it could be crystals building up, but it also could be that the cerebellum, the back part of the brain, is not getting enough neurological input. And so what I do is I have my patients stand up and I wrap my arms around them, but don't touch them, and I have them close their eyes. And then if I see them swaying to one side, that's usually an indication that that side, let's say they sway to the right, the right cerebellum is not getting the proper neurological input. And so then my doctors work on stimulating that side of the brain. It's very easy. We swing the arm around. We'll, um, we'll stimulate that side of the brain by adjusting that side of the body. And many times by stimulating and balancing the cerebellum and alkalizing the system, we get some real good results with that. So I need to alkalize my system. That's the key. And here's a little thing you can do. Go to any dr- – most drugstores sell it. It's called pH paper. And it measures uh-huh. how much acid there is in your body. And what you do is you take the little pH strip. It's a little strip of paper. Pee on it first thing in the morning. Pee a little bit uh-huh. to clean out your urethra. Pee on it, and there's going to be a color code. It's going to turn a color. Match it up to the color chart, and you should be about 6.5 to 7.0. Anything below 6.5 is the danger zone. And if you're in that 6.5 or lower, that's red flag should be going, warning signs going off. You need to alkalize your system. So everyone can do that. And if you're 6.5 or lower, you're, you you got to stop that. Should I stop um, taking calcium D3? Because I take that now. 
it depends it depends on the type of calcium if it's calcium carbonate the answer is yes you need to stop taking it if it's I calcium it's like a gummy, gummy yeah player. it's probably calcium carbonate then and that's the cheap form of calcium um, cheap meaning value wise not even money wise you want to use a calcium citrate or a calcium lactate most people don't need calcium though most people need less acid and not more calcium okay make sense Yes, thank Beautiful. you. Beautiful. All right, Marie, thanks so much. Appreciate that. Let me see. We got, uh, we got a little bit of time here. We're, got, we're out at 18. Yeah, I guess I got to take a break now, don't I? It's break time, right? Yes? DeMarco's saying yes? Okay, good. All right. So, folks, if you have a healthcare question, give us a call, 844-44-DR-JOE, 844-44-DR-JOE. My website is drjoeesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe. Uh, like me on, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Facebook, uh, and if you want to get my supplements, that's on drjoeesposito.com. Okay? Got to go to break. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back. I am so happy that you're here. I am Dr. Joe sitting in for Monica today. Hopefully she's enjoying the day off this beautiful Saturday. It's 322 here at the WSB studios. And uh, I'm going to take a lot of callers. You guys are calling in with questions. If you have a question, 844-44-DR-JOE. I do want to say this. I went to the Brave Stadium last night, first time. And I'm very happy. I'm happy that they have a lot he- lot different choices. They have healthier choices. They had some they had a little stir-fry section. Uh, they had veggie burgers. They had a veggie wrap. So I have to give the Braves kudos for that because I do appreciate that, that I can go to the game and, um, and sweat, but I can also eat something that was a little healthier, and that's kind of nice because I had a laugh, though. There's a big line uh, outside the burger stand. I mean, like, you know, I don't know how far back it went. And then they had the veggie burgers and, like, two people in line. So... <laughs> So these are not my listeners. I knew that these are not my people. And the one, the stadium is right up the street from my office, which is kind of fun. We, um, one, of, one of our offices in Marietta, and we have offices Duluth and Stockbridge as well. And um, but it was just kind of fun. It was kind of neat to be able to go out and, and have a nice time and, and say, you know what, I have something that I can actually eat too. And that's the trend, which is kind of cool, because people come up to me all the time, and you know, I've been a vegan for over thirty years now, and people say, you know. Back then, it was like, oh, it's a, it's a trend, it's a fad. Now, we're seeing more and more people realizing that what they eat has to have a lot to do with their health. I mean, I'm a chiropractor. So when patients come to my offices, I want to get them healthy as quickly as I can uh, through chiropractic care because the way the body works is your brain sends messages down the spine, out the nerves to every cell in the body. So if a bone moves out of place and pinches a nerve, it hurts. But 90% of your nerves don't feel pain. So you can have a pinched nerve and not know it. And so that's what Belinda, I was on Belinda's show last hour, and we were talking about that. So if you have a pinched nerve to your liver, your spleen, your thyroid, your kidneys, that could cause the organs to malfunction. So many times patients have problems. They're not getting the results that they want. They listen to the show, and they say, maybe it's a pinched nerve. And many times it is. You know, we can treat the, the organ, but we got to check the wires to the organ as well. So that's real important. So if you have a problem, you can uh, go to you can call us at the uh, uh, at eight four 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 Doctor Joe here while I'm in the studio. That's also the number that rings to my offices when I'm not on the air. My website, twenty four hours a day, drjoesposito.com. You can order Doctor Joe Super Greens, Doctor Joe's Essential Source. We have other things like Doctor Joe's Intestinal Cleanser. Uh, my books are there. Eating Right for the Health of It, Prescription for Extreme Health. Listen to archive radio shows. Watch videos. Whenever I do a public lecture, I'll videotape it, and I'll put it on my website as well. And uh, it's always fun when I'm on the air, and I'll say, follow me on Facebook or follow me on, on Instagram, and instantly it just lights up. So I do appreciate all you guys doing that. And we send out good information on Facebook and Instagram as well. We never bombard you. Don't worry. And uh, we also have a newsletter, too. If you ever want to sign up for my newsletter, you can. Uh, that's kind of nice, too. And that's all on the website, drjoesposito.com. Steve, how can we make your day better? Hey, Joe. Thanks for taking my call. You're welcome. Uh, about two weeks ago, my daughter came down with a food poisoning slash stomach bug and uh, got sick and then was kind of slow to bounce back and became very, very pale. And then a few days later, she ended up getting a separate virus, the croup. And to make a long story short, we took her to the doctor and they determined they checked her for her iron levels and her iron levels are low. Right. And so she's two. And uh, I guess they've been kind of kind of trending down, and so they gave they told us to put her on an iron supplement. Sure. And I just wondered, in the meantime, as she, she tries to bounce back, and because you know, she still gets fatigued. Sure. You know, what are some things that I could do to help her? Uh, well, a couple of things. Keep her hydrated. If she's not drinking water, at least give her a bath, because when you sit in a bathtub, your body absorbs water through the skin, and that's a trick I've done with women that are um, having morning sickness. They can't put anything in their body. They're throwing up. Put them in a bathtub. They absorb water. So you got to keep her hydrated. Uh, she's two years old, you said? 
She's two years old. Okay, yeah. Um, I would recommend a plant-based iron supplement because the iron, the, a lot of the other ones are they use metal. They use iron uh-huh. like from the ground, and that can be extremely constipating. So you got to be careful with that. Uh, so there's a lot of plant-based supplements. Uh, Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source, of course, are loaded with iron. They're green. Anything green is loaded with iron or red. Um, and so you can give her that, mix it up maybe with a frozen banana and give it to her like a like an ice cream or a smoothie. Kids usually like that. Um, and uh, just make sure that she's if she's not uh, bowels aren't moving two to three times a day, that's real important um, okay. because the iron is so constipating, and that, that's always a big issue. So I want to use the natural form of iron, the plant-based form, not the, not the synthetic or the metallic form because that can be really bad. Okay. Uh, um, and uh, how is she otherwise? Any, any other issues? Well, just fatigue. You know, she gets tired quick, but in her— her, uh, her color seems to be coming back because she had Good. been pale for so long. Sure. But I guess my concern is just, like, uh, how long does it take for her to kind of get her levels back up? Because they want to see her back in a couple of weeks to check her Yeah, definitely bring her back because in case, God forbid, there's some bleeding internally. And always check her stools. Make sure there's no blood. There's two types of blood. There's frank blood, which is red, and there's occult blood, which would be more like a black or like a scab-type blood. So check uh-huh. her stools because if you're seeing blood in the stools, you want to get her back to the doctor right away. Because if there's okay, any bleeding this, internally, you got to get that fixed. Okay. Well, when she did get sick the first time, she had she threw up black. Uh, yeah, that could be gallbladder. Could be bleeding in the gut too. Yeah. So yeah, just monitor the stools and see. That's something you want want to be careful with. Okay. Thank you, Joe. My pleasure, Steve. Thanks so much, folks. I'm Dr. Joe Esposito, sitting in for Monica Perez. Hopefully, she's enjoying her day off. Uh, if you have a question, lots of uh, we're open. The lines are open. Eight four 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 four. Doctor Joe. That number rings through to my office when I'm not on the air. You'll ask yourself, why didn't I listen to him sooner? Doctor Joe Esposito on News ninety five five and AM seven fifty WSB. Hey everybody, I know you're expecting Monica today. Hopefully Monica's enjoying her day off. I am Dr. Joe Esposito sitting at, standing in for Monica. I don't sit when I do. I like to stand when I do my shows. Uh, I do show Sunday mornings, uh, tomorrow morning, WSB, 5 o'clock in the morning. So make sure you tune in then. And also 7 to 9, I'll be on again tomorrow night uh, taking your calls again. That's my live show uh, on WSB. I archive all my radio shows on my website, drjoesposito.com. Videotape live lectures that I do. If you come out to my live lectures, by the way, they're a lot of fun. And we videotape them and put them on my website as well because some people are visual learners and some people are auditory learners. So I just want to make sure I'm giving you what you want. And um, website's a great source of information. Articles that I've written, uh, my super, of course, my super greens, my essential source, my colon cleansers, my books. Those are all on the website as well. Um, everybody, I think, should be taking super greens and essential source. If you do nothing else, if you won't listen to anything else I say, at least take the super greens and the essential source. Uh, it's a scoop of each. They're a powder. I shake them up with some coconut milk. Just drank it at the break, as a matter of fact. And it's the minimum amount of nutrients that you need. And they taste good, too, by the way. Uh, let's just keep taking callers. we got lots of callers today. Uh, Travis, how can we make your day better? Uh, yes, you <clears throat> earlier I was driving, and uh, now I'm not, but you were talking about fructose. I think it was in a uh, fruit drink. Yes. And I eat a lot of fruit. I don't drink fruit drinks, but I eat a lot of fruit. Okay. And uh, the question I have is that, you know, fructose is carbohydrate. It has carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen in it. Right. And you were saying that it would convert to uh, uh, urea or uric acid, right. which is a nitrogenous-based product. Right. How does that uh, biological pathway work to get the nitrogen into uh, the system? Well, the, liver, the, the conversion occurs in the liver, so the fructose has to be converted into glucose because we can't utilize fructose as a, as a fuel. It has to be converted right. into glucose. And in the process, right. one of the waste products, are uh, it creates a uric acid. And so the, you, the, can't, the, you cannot have a waste product that has nitrogen in it coming from a breakdown of fructose, which does not have nitrogen in it. Okay, why, why don't we do this? Send me an email, and I'll send you the research on it, and then I can show you the process. How about that? Well, you, you go ahead and do that, but you need to be very careful about these biological pathways. Okay, I'm, I'm very because, clear on this uh, one, Travis. Travis, I'm very clear on this one, my friend, because somebody else sent me the question a while ago, and I sent them the research, and they went, oh, that's how it works. So if you send me an email, uh, Dr. Joe— I know, at- I, know, I know how it works. All right, Travis. Okay, I'm not going to argue with you, Travis. Okay. 
Uh, folks, if you have a question, you can always send me an email, drjoe at drjoesposito.com. But um, yeah, no, I've, I've done the research on this one, and it, it happens pretty clearly. So uh, let's keep taking callers. Uh, Alan, how can we make your day better? Hi there, Dr. Joe. This is uh, a good one. I was working on a trailer and pulling a pin, and I pulled out my back and a couple of ribs. Sure. So I got them all put back into place and everything, but my xiphoid is still moving around. Okay. Is it ever going to heal, or is the pain ever going to go away? Or okay, the xiphoid is it's a loose, it's a little cartilage right at the bottom of your sternum, and it, it, it can come loose. Hopefully, it's going to heal because it's a cartilage, and it can hopefully heal back into that area. And what happens is you got to be careful with it because if the xiphoid ever breaks off, which it can. Uh, then it's absolutely positively a surgical case. So if it starts getting worse, if you start feeling pressure on the, on the lungs or uh, the blood vessels in that area, you absolutely positively want to get that checked by a surgeon. Uh, well, but, I, yeah. I noticed that, that he said the xiphoid is cartilage uh, up to the age of 40. Well, I'm over 60 now. Right. Well, it's still, it's, it's, it can ossify, but it, it still can break off, and that's the concern. Um, so just be careful with it, and if it gets any looser, you want to go see a surgeon about that one. That one's kind of a little out of, out of my uh, out of my wheelhouse. Well, I was like I said, you know, every now and then it bothers me, and I'll press on it with the palm of my hand, and it kind of clicks back in. Yeah, uh-huh. It feels, I put hot and cold compresses on it, and it feels okay. better, but um, I don't think I broke it off. I think I just... Now, if it broke off, you'd know about it. Yeah, I've seen them broken oh, yeah. off before. Yeah, so but uh, the hot and cold is good. So that'll increase circulation and, and kind of change it around a little. You know, increase circulation and, and bring blood into the area and bring it away, and that should hopefully speed up the healing process. But how long does this usually last before it heals? I mean, is it like. <sighs> Well, it's f- been two months right now. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, uh, you know, if you're a young kid, it heals pretty quickly. But as we get older, you know, even past late 20s, uh, it can take a long time and it may never reattach perfectly. Um, and oh. that's that's the problem with it. But again, it, you're kind of it's there. Yes, but it's also not a surgical case either because it's not bad enough to go in there and do surgery. But if it starts getting worse, absolutely positively get yourself to a surgeon. Okay. Okay. Well, nice to talk to you again. My pleasure, Alan. Old shoe repair guy. Oh, Alan. Oh, that Alan. Hey, Alan. Good to hear from you. <laughs> Thanks. Good. All right, man. Have a great day. Bye bye. All, right. All right, Matthew. How can we make your day better? Hey, uh, my wife has a thyroid problem. Her thyroid runs at about forty-four when they did her test. Uh-huh. Uh huh. It's very high. She's very thin. Uh, I was just wondering, other than taking medicine, what could she do? I heard you talking earlier about how a uh, pinched nerve could cause your organs to malfunction. I was wondering if, if that could also be a, a factor in her thyroid not working or being too high. It's probably a player in it. I'm not sure it's going to be the whole thing, but I find we, I always, whatever the organ is, I always check the nerve supply to the organ. And uh, if the thyroid isn't working, we got to start thinking about why isn't it working. And the thyroid uses iodine. It absorbs iodine and it turns it into the, the thyroid hormones, T1, 2, 3, and 4. And if she has the thyroid organs, uh, 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 the thyroid receptors blocked up, they can be blocked up by something called haloids. Uh, Haloids are bromine, chlorine, and fluorine, as well as iodine. And if they're blocked up, they're not absorbing the iodine properly, so they're not making the right hormones. So we've got to be real careful to keep her away from the other haloids, chlorine, fluorine, and bromine. Bromine is a dough conditioner, so a lot of times if you're using uh, commercial breads and doughs, that can be an issue because they use bromine as a dough conditioner. They used to use iodine. Years ago, they found out bromine is cheaper. It still makes the dough work nicely, but the problem is you're not getting the iodine then. Um, yeah. So she's got hyperthyroid, you're saying? It's, it's raised, right? Yeah, it's, it's very high. I mean, it's, it's in the double digits. It's 44. Oh, wow. What runs at. And what are, the yeah. doc- what are the endocrinologists saying about that? Uh, well, she, she just got her test back from her regular doctor, and he said he just they need to up her dose, I think. She hasn't been back to him yet. Okay. Uh, she just figured it out, basically. Uh, and I know she's, she doesn't eat very well. I was just, I didn't know if, it, if diet could cause that either, if it's Absolutely. something you'd be born with as well. well. Is it Graves' disease? Have they diagnosed it as Graves'? Mm, I, don't, I don't think so, not Okay. Yet. Any rapid heart rate? Is the heart rate beating real fast? No, I know everything else is good on her, except she's borderline lupus, uh, uh, too, okay. and she's allergic to some fish as well. Yeah, she's just having an autoimmune yeah. reaction, yeah. So in a case like that, absolutely stay under the medical treatment. That's, that's their ballpark. They're very good at what they do there. Um, but what I would also do then is I would um, uh, monitor her diet. She's got to get on a good diet. You've got to get her off the bad stuff because the, 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 uh, the thyroid is, is, it can absorb these toxins, so you've got to be real careful with that. 
Um, right. But get her off the bad foods. Get her off the alcohols, the meats, the sugars, the dairies, the coffees, the sodas, the artificial sweeteners. Uh, get her on more fruits and vegetables. Get her on something that has iodine in it. In most cases, like Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source, I put sea vegetables in there. And the sea vegetables okay. are a great source of iodine. But this is going to be a, going to have to hit this thing from multiple angles. It's not something we can just do one thing and say, oh, it's going to be solved. But she's got All to right. stop putting the junk in so that the body can heal. Okay. Uh, if I bought your book, would that cover most of the stuff on diet? Because we have no clue. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, um, eat, uh, the new one, Prescription for Extreme Health, would probably be the one I'd recommend. The other one's good, too, uh, eating right for the health of it. But Prescription for Extreme Health would be a great starting point for her. Okay. Great. I appreciate it. Thanks so much, Matthew. I appreciate the call. Folks, it's Dr. Joe Esposito sitting in for Mon- standing in for Monica. Uh, the number here at the studio, well, that's the number at my office as well, 844-44-DR-JOE. And um, that number rings through to my office when I'm not on the air. So if you want to reach me during the week, you can do that. Tom, how can we make your day better? Uh, yes, my question is I do take the Super Greens and Essential Source. Uh-huh. I come, come to your office and get it. But my question is there's a lot of companies that make the green drinks, if you want to say, Sure. Is there a difference in the quality, like, you know, your product compared to others or so? There's a lot of good products out there. I'd love to tell you mine is the only good product out there. There's a lot of good products out there. I know mine because I know what's in it. I formulated it, and I know what's in there. Um, but one of the things you got to be careful with is do they source it? Do they test it? I mean, they're supposed to be tested. All the products are supposed to be tested for, for t- toxins and pollutants. Um, there's a lot of other good products out there aside from mine, but I like mine cause I know what's in it and I, I can vouch for it. So mm-hmm. you want to look for something that has, you know, a purity seal and be honest with you. A lot of times the cheap stuff that you, a lot of times people go to one of the big box stores and say, well, I saw they had, I don't know, fish oil for $5 a gallon or whatever it is. Right. Many times that's there. There's a reason why it's cheaper. It's cheaper because they're using cheaper products. So. Right. Okay. Okay. Thanks, yeah, Tom. I appreciate just it. see a lot of products, and uh, I appreciate and I like your product, so I'll continue. Thanks, Tom. Appreciate that, that, that vote of confidence. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got a few more minutes. Sure. Mark, how can we make your day better? Great show, Dr. Joe. Thank you. Uh, po- pomegranate juice. I drink POM, P-O-M. What is your opinion about that product? Pomegranate's great. Um, it's not the end-all, be-all, as nothing is the end-all, be-all. Um, you right. know, blueber- blueberries are loaded with antioxidants. Uh, cinnamon is loaded with antioxidants. Okay. Uh, cloves are loaded with antioxidants. So it's a good thing, but my concern, again, is you got to be careful with the fructose. Because if you're I'm eating— sorry, fr- Right, the extra sugar, correct. Right, because if you're eating fruit, it has fiber, and it slowly pushes the food through your colon and gives you a slow release of sugar. Okay. And what happens uh, is when you're eating sure. just the juice, you don't have the fiber, and you're absorbing all that sugar at once. I see. Okay, so I need to eat uh, more fruit and a little—you know, I can still drink a— the small portion uh, of pomegranate juice. Yeah, and that's fine. There's, there's no problem okay. with that. But if you're drinking a lot of it, you're drinking glasses of it, you're not getting the fiber, and that's where my problem comes in with okay, that. Okay, great. And one last question. Your opinion of Lipitor, is there an is there alternative holistic medicine in, instead of Lipitor? Well, you can do something called red rice yeast. However, a red rice, you're talking about for cholesterol, right? Yes, sir. Okay, yeah. There's something called red yeast rice. I'm sorry, red yeast rice. Um but the pro red rice yeast anyway uh, i'm not, i don't like it because both of them do the same thing what they do is they shut down your body's ability to produce cholesterol but okay. the same enzyme that produces cholesterol produces coenzyme q10 and coenzyme q10 is necessary for energy production if so I call your office monday can i make an appointment to see you absolutely that's not a problem you call what, 84 what, you, what would you charge for a just a regular checkup you know a full scan to check the body levels and all that stuff uh, you'd have to call the office and find out i'm about to go to break so i don't mean to rush you but okay. if you call the office I'll they can give you all that information monday morning. thank you so much thanks have so much i weekend. appreciate it boy a lot of good questions today i never got to my notes it's i love this this is great it's dr joe esposito i'm sitting in standing in for monica today i hope monica's enjoying her day off uh if you have a question 844 dr joe my website if you want to order dr joe super greens dr joe's essential source dr joe esposito.com or just google dr joe also follow me on facebook or like me on facebook uh, follow me on instagram we send out lots of good information there too hey do me a favor don't go anywhere tell your friends about the show we're gonna be right back Hey, folks, Dr. Joe here, standing in for Monica Perez today. Hopefully she's enjoying her day off on this amazing, beautiful Saturday. 
Uh, my shows, uh, if you haven't heard my shows before, I'm on 5 o'clock Sunday mornings on WSB and also 7 to 9 on Sunday nights. So, so tomorrow, tune in tomorrow morning or tomorrow night. Love to have you listening. If you have questions, uh, you can call the show or you can always email me questions at my website, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe with the number one Dr. Joe in the world. Lots of good information on that website, archive radio shows, uh, articles that I've written, information about my supplements, my books, they're all there as well. Uh, if you want to make an appointment to come see us, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge. Uh, we accept patients with all, we accept everybody, with insurance, without insurance, uh, car accidents, sports injuries. We would love to have the opportunity to be your doctor so we can help you naturally get well and stay well because that's our job. And that's all on the website if you want to make an appointment or order anything or just listen to other shows, drjoesposito.com. Peter, how can, Pete, oh, Pete, you there? Yeah. Okay. Oh, there we go. How can we make your day better? Uh, I've got a question for you about neuropathy. Yes. I've got uh, radi- actually radiation and chemo-induced neuropathy oh, in my yeah. toes and in my hands. Yeah. Uh, and uh, pretty much all the doctor said was take some vitamin B. And I know there's got to be a better plan than that. Oh, sure. There's a lot of different things you can do. Um, the nerves are damaged, obviously, from the chemo, and that creates the neuropathy. Neuro means nerve. Apathy means uh, malfunctioning or pain. And um, so what we have to do is try to get the nerves to function uh, better. And so B vitamins are important, but there's a lot more to it. So, for example, the way the nerve sends messages uh, along the nerve, it creates an electrical impulse where sodium and potassium switch in and out of the nerve cells. And that creates what's called an action potential. So you have to make sure your chemistry is right. Second thing is you have to make sure you don't have pinched nerves. And this is where I find a lot of the neuropathy come from. Um, the nerve is being pinched, and then it's damaged from the chemicals, and now the messages can't get from the brain to the body. So if you have a pinched nerve in your low back, for example, that can cause foot and leg neuropathy. Pinched nerve in the neck can cause arm and hand neuropathy. So as a chiropractor, I always look at the nerves to see if they're being pinched. Then I look at the person's diet, making sure they're not putting a lot of toxic chemicals in, and they are getting the right amount of nutrients. And then I look at their digestive system, because if you have acid reflux, heartburn, burping, gas, bloating, you're not absorbing the nutrients and you're not passing out the waste products properly, that can affect the chemistry, which affects the nervous system. So I understand that there be vitamins, but I think there's a lot more you can do. Okay. Anything else? Any other supplements or I know... Like omega three, omega three, yeah. If you're going to do omega threes, I recommend you do. You know, there's fish oil, which you run the risk of mercury, which can make the nervous system worse. Uh, uh, um, I I do algae oil because the algae oil is the purest form, Um, and you don't you run a lot less risk of having um, uh, the the mercury toxicity in it. And there's also something called krill oil, which is kind of in the middle. And krill is good; it's in a phospholipid form which is the kind you want to absorb, but I like to go with the krill, the algae oil. It's a little more expensive, but that's the kind I take. All right. Is there anything uh, – read a few things about the fat-soluble vitamin Bs as opposed to the water-soluble vitamin Bs. <sighs> Bs are usually uh, water-soluble. If they put in fat-soluble, they've done something to it. They changed the, the form of it. So, you know, Dr. Joe's Super Greens, Dr. Joe's Essential Source, they're good sources of vitamin B. Uh, I take uh, 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 nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast is something that's a great source of vitamin B as well and has a great flavor to it. Um, I don't like things when they've been altered or changed. I like it, what's called a whole food form, the way it was done in nature. So the closer to nature, the better off I think you're going to be. Okay. Final question. Anything to do for severe dry mouth? That's a tricky one, too, after the chemo. Um, what you can do is take coconut oil, extra virgin organic coconut oil, and swish it around right. in your mouth. It's, it's called oil pulling. And you can probably do it for you know, up to 20 minutes a day. You know, the same, I, I can only do it for about 10 minutes, and I start to gag. Right. But that kind of right. lubricates everything. And you got to make sure you're drinking enough water as well. But I found a couple of patients I've used it with the dry mouth. The coconut oil and the oil pulling works pretty well. Make sure you do organic coconut oil, though. All right. Well, okay. Thanks a lot. My Thank pleasure. You. Thanks so much. So you have always good information here, folks. And uh, again, if you're just tuning in, I'm Dr. Joe Esposito, uh, standing in for Monica today. And my website, if for more information, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe with the number one Dr. Joe in the world. And uh, we have lots of good information on the website. It's there 24 hours a day. It's no charge. We, we don't charge to listen to my radio shows or listen watch videos of my lectures. Uh, a lot of times, companies will hire me to come out and do workshops for them. Love doing that. Um, I Oftentimes, don't videotape those because sometimes the company's like, no, no, we paid you for this one. You're not going to go out and do something else. 
I'm going to have to go to a break soon. But what I want you to do is uh, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram. We send out good information there as well. Um, we also sell our products and my books on Amazon. I forgot to mention that. Somebody sent me a, a message on Facebook just now. Uh, Amazon is there too in case you have an Amazon account. It might be a little easier for you if you just want to order it that way too. And if you have questions, the number here at the studio, which also rings through to my office when I'm not on the air, 844-44-DR-JOE. Um, but the website's a good source. And by the way, if you don't get on the air, some people are a little shy, you can always send me questions through the website. I'm more than happy to answer your questions there as well. Tune in tomorrow morning. I got a lot more to cover today, but tomorrow morning, 5 a.m. and tomorrow night from 7 to 9. I know I'm also on the air. Hey, don't go anywhere. Tell your friends about the show. We'll be right back. If you ignore your health, it will go away. Listen to Dr. Joe Esposito on News 95.5 and AM 750 WSB. Hey, folks, Dr. Joe here standing in for Monica. Hope Monica's enjoying her day off. You, you, you always know when DeMarco's my board up. He's got that cool, funky music, man. He's got that cool... Co- hey, he's back there dancing. I wish you could see this. Where's his television? He's got a little... Oh, oh, we got Rachel be- dancing behind him. Now we got a whole dance crew here, man. This is great. Crystal, you back there dancing? I, I can't see Crystal dancing. I can't see his Crystal dancing. Crystal, everybody's dancing today. Glad you could be here. Uh, folks, I'm Dr. Joe. If first time you're tuning in, uh, hear my show. I'm on 5 o'clock Sunday mornings on WSB tomorrow. And I'm also 7 to 9 on WSB uh, tomorrow night live. And we'll be doing a show just like this, only it'll be tomorrow. So if you're loving Dr. Joe, I hope you are, and getting a lot of good information to how to naturally get well and stay well, uh, you can tune in and, and uh, get lots more information. Lots of callers today. Let's see. Patrick, you've been holding for a while. How can we make your day better? Uh, yes, sir. I was um, <clears throat> wondering, uh, I take um, pain medicine uh-huh. And it, it seems to, to give me a boost of energy. And I want to, to get off of the pain medicine, but I, I don't know, you know, um, what I can do about the boost of energy it gives me. I mean, the, the, uh, I, I live with pain every day, so the pain medicine, I don't take enough for it to really do any good as far as that goes. I haven't been for a while now. Sure. I've been doing I've been taking it for the boost of energy. I understand. Okay. We got to be careful with pain meds because if you're taking pain meds, your body stops producing its own natural painkillers. And so if you're taking pain meds and your brain is saying, well, I've already got enough of those to kill the pain. I don't need to produce any more. And then when you try to come off the pain meds, you may have a problem. That's what can cause an addiction. So the only reason you're taking is for energy? Uh, At this point, I am, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I've conditioned myself to just, you know, live with the pain. I don't really take a whole lot of it. Uh, you what know, what kind it. of pain are you having? I have um, uh, uh, my shoulder muscles uh-huh. get inflamed. Sure. And um, I have degenerative discs in my back. Okay. And I've just had, you know, injuries over the years. Sure. Um, where you know pain still lingers yeah but all of it combined you know um sometimes it really gets to me especially you know when i work real hard you know uh, all week long but uh i i i don't you know i'm I'm tired of the disadvantages of taking the pain i understand yeah well one of the things i you know as a chiropractor and i i think i'm the only chiropractor board certified in pain management in the whole state actually um, so I'm board certified in chiropractic, orthopedics, pain management. I'm double board certified in nutrition. I have a BS in nutrition. And what I would recommend for someone like you is try to find out why you're having the pain. So if you're having shoulder problems, the shoulder's a ball and socket joint. And many times I find the shoulder comes out of socket. And in our offices, we need to set the shoulder back into socket, take the pressure off the joint, and that oftentimes relieves the pain. Could be a pinched nerve in the neck going to the shoulder. In the low back, the reason the discs are degenerated, no one's ever told you this, the reason the discs are degenerated is the bones have been out of place for many years rubbing up against each other. And that causes the disc to wear out. So all the listeners right now, if somebody ever told you you have arthritis in your spine, it's because you've had something out of alignment, if it's osteoarthritis, causing the discs to wear out. So in a case like yours, Patrick, I would try to get to the cause of the pain and not just treat the pain itself. And right. most cases, people are very happy when they go that route. They're like, oh, finally, I have relief. And it's not just covering up the pain. It's fixing it. Make sense? Yes. Yes, it does. Um, I, I tore my rotator cup in one of my shoulders. Okay, and, sure. Uh, I never never had the surgery for it. <clears throat> and it heals and I get a little bit of pain in it. But, yeah. you know, so I, I know some of the causes of Yeah, and that's pain. absolutely could be. You have scar tissue in there. That's absolutely possible. So. Um, I would get a check. You know, if you want to come see us, you're not far. We're in Marietta. You're in Canton. If you want to come see us, we check it out. And if we can help you, we'll tell you. If we can't, we'll tell you that too. It's really not a, a rocket science thing here. So, 
Right. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. How would just uh, go on your website and, and... Go to the website, drjoesposito.com, or you can call 844-44-DR-JOE during the week, and um, that rings right through to my office when I'm not on the air. 844-44-DR-JOE. Yep. Thank you so much. Thanks. I sure do appreciate it. Look forward to get, helping you get well, Patrick. And that's my goal, to help you naturally get well and stay well. Get a little pun on words. Naturally, I want to get you well and keep you well. Uh, yeah, Pat, how can we make your day better? Dr. Joe, uh, about five years ago, I was diagnosed diagnosed with Parkinson's. Uh huh. Three years ago, I was in a serious accident, totaled my car, and I my left thumb feels as though it's been smashed with a hammer. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, what do you think the problem might be there? Is it going to be Parkinson's, or uh, do I have a pinched nerve, or what? Well, the Parkinson's affects the, the chemicals in the brain, the neurotransmitters in the brain, like GABA, for example. And GABA right. suppresses other neurotransmitters. And so if you don't have the right amount of GABA, you could be experiencing a lot more pain as well. Uh, that's why they have medications that mimic GABA to cover up the pain. But if you're in a car accident, if, if you may have jammed that thumb and it may be out of alignment. And, and there's 206 bones in the body. Any one of them can come out of place. So if that thumb is jammed, we may have to set that thumb back into place to take the stress off the joint and then also up, open up the nerve supply uh, from the neck. And then with Parkinson's, we really want to take a look at your diet. you got to stay away from things that have adverse effects on the nerves. Uh, one of the things that comes to mind right away is artificial sweetener. So any type of artificial sweetener, aspartame, sucralose, uh, acylfame K, you want to stay away from those because they can have a big adverse effect on the nervous system. Okay. Okay, but uh, I would look again, we talked about it earlier, a physical problem with your thumb and not necessarily a chemical problem. Okay. Make sense? Okay. I'll call your office and come see you, okay? That sounds like a great deal. Thanks, Pat. I appreciate that. Uh, let's see. How are we doing? Oh, we got plenty of time here, don't we? Yes. Uh, Calvin, how can we make your day better? Hello, Dr. Joe. Um, I was calling in on behalf of my, um, my wife. Uh -huh. She has been dealing with, um, TMD, TMJ. Yes. Temporal mandibular uh, joint. Right. Okay. Yeah. Her, her mouth clicks if she opens too wide when eating and things like that. And the dentist said it's not much more you could do and um, we considered, um, well, we read about doing some kind of therapy, but is, is there any suggestions that you would? Yeah, I the, mean, the TM, TMJ is a tricky joint. If I remember from God, 30 years ago when I studied this, there's 32 pair of proprioceptive fibers in your TMJ and 31 pair in your SI joints or somewhere like that. Um, okay. What proprioceptive fibers are? They tell you where you are in space. So you can create balance. You don't have to walk and stare at your feet. Your jaw has uh -huh. them because you can chew and you don't see your food. So the nerves have to realign the jaw constantly so you don't bite your tongue, bite your lips. And when, the exactly. TM, and when the TMJ is damaged, you're affecting the whole proprioceptive system. So many times the, the joint comes out of place, just like the thumb can come out of place, the spine can come out of place. And we need to okay. adjust or put the jaw back into its normal alignment. And when we do that, then hopefully the disc that's in the joint and the muscles around the nerves and the nerves start to heal and then it stays in place. So yes, I've seen many TMJ cases as a chiropractor, and usually we get very good results by realigning them. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. So that would, um, so I should probably come and sign, you, sign her up to come see you. Though. Probably a good idea, yeah. And that's why a lot of dentists will even send us their TMJ patients, because they don't know how to manipulate the joints, and we don't know how to do injections or pull teeth, you know? So that's why yeah. I work so closely with so many different branches of healthcare, because we all realize, you know what, this is out of my wheelhouse, but maybe it's in, you know, Dr. Bill's wheelhouse or whatever, and we work together okay. on that. So it might be a physical problem, yeah. Okay. Okay, Calvin. Okay. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks so much. I appreciate the call. Let's see. Got to go to a break. Oh, we got time. Man, we got, we got lots of time and lots of callers. Michael, how can we make your day better? Uh, Dr. Joe, uh, it's a pleasure to uh, talk with you. Thank People you. People warned I'm about to give you a lot of information here. Okay. I, uh, I work in the industry here in Atlanta that is very huge right now. Uh -huh. And let me just say that the camera does lift and separate and it does add 10 pounds to you. <laughs> so I, uh, I, work, I work out six days a week, take one day off, and I, you know, I work out a lot. And what I wanted to get your opinion on is, number one, I'm in the process of saving up my money right now to try your, for the first time, Dr. Joe's Super Greens and your Essential Source. Excellent. 
But what I'm trying, uh, the supplements that I'm taking right now is I wanted to get your opinion on casein protein that I'm using to build muscle at night. Uh-huh. Do, you, do you recommend it? And the other question I have is I've heard from different people that abs are made in the kitchen. What do you have to eat to expose the abs? Because the better I look on camera, the more work I'm going to get. Understood. Sure. That's the bottom line. Understood. Okay, so a couple of things. Uh, Abs in the kitchen, I agree with you 100%. If you want to get good abs, it has to start in the kitchen. Because you can work out like, and you've seen these guys and women, they work out like fiends and they still got a little belly there you got to let get rid of those layers of fat. And so you got to cut out. It's not so much what do you eat, it's what you don't eat. And that would be the sugars, breads, cookies, cakes, donuts, pastas, fruit juices. Once you start get, let, getting rid of those layers of fat, you ha- everybody has ab muscle. It's under there, I promise you. And once you get rid of those layers of fat, you'll start to see those the, the six-pack look. So cutting out the sugars is going to be key. I'm not a big fan of any dairy products. And if you're going to do a dairy product, it has to be cold processed and organic. Because if it's not, the milk may have things like steroids, hormones, chemicals, pesticides, herbicides, genetically modified foods in there. DeMarco's clapping. DeMarco's a trainer. So you're happy with that, DeMarco? You're happy with that choice there? Okay. Um, so if you're going to do a protein, which you don't have to do, there's absolutely no need to, for additional protein. Now, if you're trying to do leucine to build up muscle mass, you know what? Can you hold on one second? Yeah. All right, hold on, Michael. I'm going to put you on hold. Folks, if you have a question, give us a call, 844 dr Joe. This is Dr. Joe Esposito. I'm standing in for Monica today. If you want to order Dr. Joe's Super Greens Essential Source, they're on my website, drjoeesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe. Also available on Amazon. So if you have an Amazon account, it might be a little easier for you, too. Hey, tell your friends about the show. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back. Hey, everybody. Dr. Joe Esposito here. I am sitting, standing in for Monica Perez today, and hopefully she's enjoying this day off. 82 degrees on Peachtree Street at uh, 425. Uh, and uh, my, my, shows are nor- my, my shows are on, not normally on. They're on 5 a.m. Sunday mornings on WSB and 7 to 9 at, uh, on WSB as well tomorrow night. So if you like what you're hearing, you can tune in then. Uh, also, I archive my radio shows on my website, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe with the number one Dr. Joe in the world. And more than happy to let you listen to all those. My gift to you, no charge. Uh, sign up for my newsletter on my website. We send out newsletters. It's, we don't send out a lot of stuff, but when we do, it's always good information. Hey, follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. Um, if you like my products, Dr. Joe's Super Greens, Dr. Joe's Essential Source. They're extremely popular all over the world. We ship them. Uh, you can get those on my website, too, drjoesposito.com. And we were – Michael, are you still there? The other thing, Dr. Joe, that I wanted to mention to you is, yes, I'm still here. My uh, my diet, I don't really like to call it a diet. I call it a lifestyle because uh-huh. I eat clean pretty much, you know, throughout the week, boneless, right. skinless, chicken breast, egg whites, spinach, that sort of thing. But, yeah, my diet is not perfect. I'm not perfect. I get sick of eating the same thing. So, yeah, I'll go to Chick-fil-A and have a grilled chicken club and a medium fry. Sure. I'm not going to deprive myself of anything and – that's you know that's another thing I wanted to mention to you. Okay, no problem. If you're going to eat animal products, I always recommend do organic only. This way, you avoid a lot of the toxic chemicals that may be found in commercial meats, like steroids and hormones and chemicals. Uh, we talked about a protein drink again. You most people don't need a protein drink uh, or extra protein. That's a fallacy because all that extra protein you only need about eight percent of your total caloric intake is protein, even if you're working out like a fiend. The rest of it has to be processed through the liver and the kidneys, and that can put a lot of strain on the liver and kidneys. So that being said, if you're going to do a protein drink and it's going to have dairy in it, which I don't think you should do, but I don't argue with people, you want to make sure it's organic and cold processed. And once you get rid of those layers of fat, I promise you, you have ab muscles under there, especially if you're working out six days a week, and they will come out. DeMarco, yes, you want to, okay, you, you, you with me on this one? Okay, good. DeMarco's a trainer, so he's agreeing with me here. Does it matter how many, you know, crunches I do during the week, or are the abs just going to come out strictly through the diet? You want to do both. You want to have abs underneath there, but then you got to get rid of the fat so that the abs come through. So you got to do both. But it's, it, like you said, a lot of them are made in the kitchen. So you're absolutely right on that. Well, I'm looking forward to trying your – I've never tried them before, but I've heard a lot about it. And uh, you seem like a trustworthy guy, so I definitely you know, want to support you in your work and everything and try your super grains and your essential source. So as soon as I'm 
you know, able to. I work in this industry, but yeah, I'm a starving artist. I understand. No, and not that expensive. But when you're ready, try them, Michael. I think you'll be really happy like most people are with the results. Okay, thanks well, for calling. Thank and folks, if you want to order the Super Green Tea Essential Source, they're on my website, drjoesposito.com, or uh, you can also uh, go to Amazon. We set up an Amazon page, too. And my books are there, too. Eating Right for the Health of It, ex- uh, Prescription for Extreme Health. And um, again, if you're just tuning in, I, my shows are on Sunday morning, on Sunday nights on WSB. That sh- those shows are heard coast to coast and around the world uh, because people like you have made the shows so popular. And I do appreciate that. So if you have a question, 844 44 Joe. You can send me questions through the website as well. Um, and also, uh, when I'm not on the air, 844 Dr. Joe, join, join the week. That, that number rings through to my offices. So in case you have a question and you want to contact us, you can do that too. Hey, do me a favor. Don't go anywhere. You know what I always say. Tell your friends about the show. We're going to be right back. Personal responsibility and independence are important to you. Start today with something completely in your control, your health. Dr. Joe Esposito is on. Hey, folks, Dr. Joe Esposito here. I am standing in for Monica Perez today. This is the show where we naturally get you well and keep you well. We give you straight talk on things that you need to know to take care of yourself. We're in a very uh, uh, tumultuous political environment. How's that for being uh, politically correct there? When it comes to the health care issue. Well, you know what, folks? They're not arguing about a health care issue. They're arguing about an insurance issue. There's a big difference. When you health care, oh, my, I have health issues. I have to be concerned about this. It's an insurance issue they're arguing about. Your health care is you doing the things that you need to do to get well and stay well, and then having a doctor or a team of doctors that you can go to with your health issues to get treatment. How you pay for it is what everybody in Washington is arguing about. And so that's why I, I, I have to ma- let you realize that that's not really what they're talking about when it comes to health care. They're talking about payment for it. So you need to learn how to get well and stay well. What's happening, if you're not aware of it, most of you aren't, is that enrollment in medical school, chiropractic school is down. It's dropping. It's not what it used to be because people don't want to do it anymore. It's too much hassle. It's too much aggravation. I spend in my offices, a major part of our overhead is not even billing insurance, following up on insurance, paperwork that is just ridiculous, has nothing to do with your treatment. But you got to fill out this form and check this off and make, the, make sure this box has this code in it and this insurance wants it this way and that insurance wa- company wants it that way. And so people are going, just potential doctors are going, I don't want to do this. It's not worth it anymore. I'm not getting paid what doctors used to get paid. So they're dropping out. So in the future, we're going to have, or we're in it right now, a doctor shortage. And you have to understand that you're not going to have access to what you've had in the past. And so you're going to have to start learning how to take care of yourself. That's why we do this show. That's why I archive my shows on my website so you can listen to them over and over and over again when you're working out, when you're driving, so that you can learn how to get well and stay well. And the website is drjoesposito.com, or you can just Google Dr. Joe with the number one Dr. Joe in the world. Taking callers, if you have a question, 844-44-DR-JOE. Donald, how can we make your day better? Yes. Hello, Dr. Joe. I love the show. Thank you. I had a. I wanted to get your opinion on taking apple cider vinegar. I'm currently taking... Uh, one tablespoon a day, alternating between morning and night. Excellent. And I started about two weeks ago, and I actually have noticed that I've lost about five pounds, yep. and I feel I don't want to eat as much, which is helpful when, it deter- when I'm determining what I want to reach for. Yes. So that's where it's really helped me. So I just want to see your opinion long term. I know I'm supposed to take it maybe for a few months and then stop and take some time off. No, so no, no. You can take it. Opinion. You can take it all day, every day, if you want to. I'm oh, a big okay. sport supporter. Now, make sure it's organic, uh, yeah. cold pressed. You know, the organic raw apple cider vinegar, because you don't want to do the processed cheap stuff. And again, cheap stuff. The the stuff you're drinking is what four dollars a bottle, five dollars a bottle. Yeah, it's not. not yeah, with with mother. Yeah, with the mother in it, right? The mother is where the fermentation occurs. Uh, absolutely. It's great for um, alkalizing the system, which is ironic because it's an acid, but other vinegars stay acidic. When you okay. do apple cider vinegar, it converts to an alkaline. And the alkalinity is the thing that your body needs. Most of us are way too acidic. So it gives you probiotics. It feeds the good bacteria in your colon. It alkalizes your system. Great source of potassium uh, for the body. So absolutely positively, uh, one or two tablespoons a day, or more if you wanted to, uh, is perfect. Now, if you can't just drink it, mix it with a lot of water. You can add some stevia to it uh, or just use it as a salad dressing. That solves a lot of problems if you just put it in your salad dressing. So I support what you're doing 100%. 
Perfect. Yeah, I'm currently mixing it with uh, water to dilute it a little bit, and then currently organic honey, just Perfect. a little bit. All right. That, that sounds great, man. Keep doing it. Thank you. Thanks, Donald. I appappreciate it. Folks, if you have a question, 844 Dr. Joe. Dustin, how can we make your day better? Hi. Um, I've, uh, I've lost uh, a lot of weight. Um, uh-huh. I used to be over 300 pounds, and now I'm in the 100s. Good um, boy. Thank you. Um, I, of course, I have a lot of excess skin. Yes. So uh, I'm just trying to figure out the best way to handle that. I, I have a friend that actually went through the same thing, and he just had surgery. Um, but I'd rather not do that if possible, but I'm thinking that may be the only yeah. way. Well, if it's really excessive, the surgery does remove the skin. Now, remember, I've had, I had one patient. He was very overweight, lost the weight, had the surgery, then gained the weight again. That's not good either because then you're, you're really damaging that skin that you just tightened up. So best thing to do is keep exercising, but when the skin is stretched, unfortunately, it's kind of like a rubber band. When you take a brand new rubber band and stretch it out, it doesn't always spring back to its original form. So building up the muscle underneath and the connective tissue will help tighten it up, but depending how loose it is, again, I'm not a fan of any surgery if it's not necessary, but it also, if it's going to affect the quality of your life, it might be something you might need to do. But try, try working out a little bit. You don't have to work out hard. Uh, weights are better than cardio. If you, you want to do some cardio, but the weights are going to build muscle strength and that'll help bone mass as well. And what we're finding now, I do something called gravitational wellness where it's extremely heavy weights with very short lifts. And, um, there's only one place in Atlanta I know that does it. It's, um, it's, uh, on, a uh, uh, can't remember the name of it. It's, it's, it's in Sandy Springs and that's the only place that does it, but it's called gravitationalwellness.com. And we do heavy li- lifting short, short, uh, amounts and that hopefully will get the, the muscle tightened up the best it possibly can. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank thanks you. so much, Dustin. I appreciate it. Uh, let's see here. Is it Camille? Yes. How are you doing? Your last name wasn't Scuchamaro in kindergarten, was it? Sir? I, I, there was a girl named Camille Scuchamaro in kindergarten I had a crush on. That's not you, is it? No, sir. I remember you asking me about that. Oh, oh it's the same Camille, you see? I keep, I'm yeah. trying to find Camille Scuchamaro. I, 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 she's got to be here somewhere. So. <laughs> I, she might be on the Internet somewhere. You never know. I, I, I have to see how to spell Scuchamaro, huh? <laughs> nice Italian girl. <laughs> anyway, Camille, how can we help you today? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Um, even though... That's what they say, but I have no gallbladder, but it don't make sense because November 4th until last week, my vowel movements have been fine. And last week, every anything I eat, the morning I wake up, a little bit later, it just goes out of me. Got it. Okay. There's a valve between your small intestine and your large intestine. It's called the ileocecal valve. It's right between your belly button and your hip. So if you draw a line between your belly button and your right hip, right in the middle there, there's going to be something called the ileocecal valve. And sometimes okay. when people have chronic diarrhea, that valve is stuck open. It's, a va- it's like, kind of like your fanny. It opens and closes. And if it's stuck open, the food is passing from the small intestine into the large intestine and then out without the body having time to relax it. So a little trick you might want to try is get some hot packs. You can you know, hot water, dip, dip a towel in hot water. If you have a microwave, which you shouldn't ever have, but if you do have right. one, put it in a microwave wet and heat it. Lay it over that area and cycle it, you know, four, five, six times until it cools off, heat it up, cool it off. And let's see if we can get those muscles to relax. And sometimes okay. that helps. Now, if it continues, you definitely want to go get it checked. Not, not that you have a parasite or something in there that's causing some real serious damage. But that would be my first step. If it doesn't work, then you want to go get medical attention for that. Right. Okay. Um, I went Friday. They're going to check all the um, white, I guess you call it the white cells and all that. Uh-huh. So they're going to they're gonna do that. Good. So. Excellent. Yeah. Because, I mean, this is where, again, my colleagues, my medical colleagues are really good at this. And uh, they'll t- test it, see if there's anything all- going on, and then sometimes we have to treat it medically. So try, I try to holistic end the medical if necessary. Okay. How late does your um, Stockbridge office stays open now? Uh, we're open till six o'clock. Okay, that's good because um, I'm working every day, so you that's ca- why I wanted to be sure. They and we see ma- patients in our Marriott office on Saturdays as well, too. So. Okay. Okay. I remember now, I live, I live in McDonough, so Stockbridge is closer. I, well, I understand that, but some people, if they can't get there during the week to Stockbridge or Duluth, we have offices in Duluth and Stockbridge, they'll come to the Marriott office on Saturdays as well. So. Okay. okay. All right. And um, it was good talking with you, and I'll um, try that again. Try that. Give that a shot. Let me know how it works. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. 
All right, folks, yeah, again, if you don't know who I am, I'm board certified in chiropractic, orthopedics, pain management, double board certified in nutrition, BS in nutrition, um, retired dietitian, award-winning author. My shows, which are heard on WSB on Sunday mornings at 5 o'clock and Sunday evening, 7 to 9, they're heard, heard, heard coast to coast and around the world. Um, so we're kind of famous, and it's kind of fun. This is our home base at WSB. What an honor to be here. I'm just so th- Every day I think, man, I can't believe I'm sitting at the microphone at WSB. This is so cool because we are, in case you didn't know that, the number one talk radio station in the country. Jim, how can we make your day better? Hey, doctor, how are you? Very well. So actually, in listening to uh, your, your nutritional uh, experience, I've got two questions. So one is, uh, is uh, love handles, man. What's the best way? For guy 46, 47 to get rid of those. Well, the love handle is just a layer of fat. That's all it is. It's on your quadratus lumborum, which is your, your back muscles there. And those are muscles we don't work out too often. But once again, like somebody else called earlier, you know, good abs start in the kitchen. So we've got to get the fat off our body. And that, you know, I'm older than you. It's hard because our metabolism is lower than it used to be. So a couple of things you can do. Number one is do the raw organic apple cider vinegar. Take about two tablespoons every day. Uh, Mix it with water. You can mix it with honey or stevia if you need to to drink it down. Use it as a salad dressing. But the apple cider vinegar can help uh, increase your metabolism, which can help burn off some of that fat. Now, you got to stop putting the bad food in to stop producing the fat or else it's not going to work. People say, I did apple cider vinegar. It didn't work. And you're sucking down, you know, donuts. It's like, "Mm." so. No, I I, I eat healthy and I work out. It's just that one area. I mean, I work out every day almost. Perfect. um, It's just frustrating. And so the other question I had on that same. So you're so for someone who works out, I work out in the evenings uh, for about an hour. Mm-hmm. What's give me a good meal plan? Just a quick snapshot of a day. Should Perfect. I eat my my large meals for breakfast and, and lunch and eat like dinners? Yes, because I, I you know I have energy problems sometimes when I'm working out. So no, like, I, that's my last question. I'll I'll get off and let you answer. Okay, yeah. You. No, I get the same way too. Is if I start working out. <laughs> We like, okay, there you go. No, I get the same way too. If I if I try to work out and I didn't eat anything, I'll get weak. But um, what I do is I start my day with Dr. Joe Supergreens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source, absolutely positively. Now, today, because I was on Belinda's show and then I'm covering for Monica now, I'll take a double dose. I took it in the morning when I woke up and I just finished it up here in the studio as well. And those are two powders. You can get them on my website, drjoesposito.com. It's the minimum amount of nutrients that your body needs every single day. So I start with that, and then um, if I'm going to do like a workout, I'll, sometimes I'll add a beet powder or arugula. Arugula is loaded with nitrates, and nitrites, nitrates when you chew them, help convert into nitric oxide, which increases circulation through your body. So if you want to get a little burst of energy, instead of eating just plain old lettuce, try some arugula, which is really going to give you a little boost there. You'll kind of like that because it's going to open up your blood vessels, not just for energy, but for brain function and for romantic function. It increases circulation everywhere. So um, that's going to help tremendously. Water is going to be a, a key. But again, you got to judge your own body. If you're going to work out, you notice you're feeling tired, you probably need to eat something beforehand. Then stop. Don't eat anything three hours after a workout because then your body is still metabolizing and that'll help with fat burning. If you eat right after a workout, if you drink a, a sugary sports drink, not a good idea because that's not something I do. Now, in my new book, Prescription for Extreme Health, I have a bonus section on the back which lays out an athletic plan. For lunch, I usually have a salad. I'll put some beans or some chickpeas in there. And then dinner, I always try to eat light. Now, a snack that I do, I like roasted uh, Brussels sprouts. I take some olive oil and uh, balsamic vinegar and roast them up a little bit. Those are great. Um, And that this way you're getting fiber, but you're not getting a lot of calories. Folks, got to go to break. Um, Again, I'm not going to get any more calls, but if you have a question, you can always call my office, 844-44-DR-JOE. And my website's there 24 hours a day, drjoesposito.com. Hey, don't go anywhere. We've got a little bit more to talk about. We'll be right back. Hey, everybody. I'm standing in for Monica Perez today. Hopefully, she's enjoying her day off on this beautiful uh, Saturday evening, 81 degrees on Peachtree Street at 453. Uh, My show, if you've never heard my shows, my shows are on Sunday morning at 5 o'clock on WSB Radio and at 7 to 9 on WSB Radio. And I fill in for a lot, too. I'm a guest, a regular guest on Eric Von Hessler's show. Um, my, our sister station, KISS, I do a lot of work over there uh, with Veronica Waters. So the, uh, the River and B98, I do work, I, my shows are heard there as well. So uh, I'm glad you could be here. And I'm really glad that I got the honor to stand in for Monica today. If I didn't get you on the air, if you have questions, you can always send me questions through my website, drjoesposito.com, or just Google Dr. Joe because we're the number one Dr. Joe in the world. Lisa, how can we make your day better? 
Hey, Dr. Joe. I uh, actually wanted to tag along with some questions for you about the organic uh, apple cider vinegar. Yes. Um, I have just had a I, – I, I did a diet years ago, the HCG, about five years ago. Uh-huh. Dropped weight, kept it off for four years. Uh, but then I ended up um, having a colonoscopy. Have They actually found cancer, but I think mm. I dodged a bullet because they, they got it out. Good. Um, I've since had four in the past two years, and everything's clear. But what my question is to you, I was listening to you talking about how it's a probiotic and um, good for the colon, but I also need to lose some more weight. So it, what is it, the Garcinia Cambogia? Is that something that you recommend to go along with it like you see on? You know, I've, tr- I've, I've tried that personally, and I've seen absolutely nothing with it. You know, HCG, okay. I know there's an herbal HCG I tried. I've seen absolutely nothing happen there. So I try things on myself all the time. Um, but again, a lot of times they'll give you stimulants, like caffeine, for example, will help you lose weight because it's a stimulant. But that mm-hmm. doesn't mean it's good for you. See, that's the problem. I mean, cocaine is a stimulant. doesn't mean it's good for you. So <laughs> yeah. I'm not a big fan of taking something to try to act as a stimulant. Uh, the apple cider vinegar would be a good choice. A lot of water is going to be a good choice. But unfortunately, okay. as we get older, you have to cut out the sugars, the breads, cookies, cakes, donuts, and pastas. Because when you're hungry, this is the key. When it comes to weight loss, you're not hungry for food. You're hungry for nutrition. Mm-hmm. And so when you give your body a lot of nutrients, like Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source, you're giving the body the nutrients so it, it, it gets over a lot of those cravings. The other thing I find is when my stomach is pushed up against my diaphragm, if I'm not digesting my food properly, I have acid reflux and heartburn, but then I also am ravenous when it comes to food. So when I get my doctors to pull my stomach away from my diaphragm, I'm able to digest my food again, and that helps me with my hunger as well. And as far as, uh, like, I'm going to start trying to take more supplements. I've got D3, krill, turmeric, um, really not consistent about taking it, but I'm going to really try Sure. Take it every day. Good Can girl. I take that with the apple cider vinegar every day and oh, that's absolutely. no problem? Yeah. Now, with the turmeric, here's a little tip for you. I want you to put a little bit of black pepper in there, maybe a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And the uh-huh. pepperine, which is found in a black pepper, activates the turmeric and makes it about a thousand times more effective. Oh, okay. So just a All little right. trick. It's going to cost you almost nothing and you're going to get a lot more bang for your buck with the turmeric. Uh, but turmeric okay. is great. I take it every day as well. Okay. Um, no, All you can right. take those. Um, the krill is great. Just, you know, I, I'd rather the, al- the krill is the good uh, the fish oil. You run the risk of having uh, mercury toxicity. And I'm not a big fan, of course, mercury toxicity. Uh, so the krill is in a phospholipid form, easier to absorb. The omega-3 fatty acids than fish. Uh, I take mm-hmm. algae oil because I'm a vegetarian. Um, and the algae oil is more expensive. So krill is great. Make sure it's vitamin D3 and not vitamin D2, which is the synthetic version. Doesn't work as well. So it sounds like you're okay. on the right path. Yeah. Okay, I'm trying. Because you have my cholesterol numbers are up, my num my pre pre diabetes numbers are up. It's just crazy it, when you hit over fifty. <sighs> Doesn't it? I know, man. It's all it's all maintenance <laughs> after after. I would say it's all maintenance after thirty, really. But it's, it's a lot harder when you're in your fifties. But it's not hard. Yeah. I take super greens and essential source every day. The turmeric. I eat a lot of vegetables. A salad every day. Um, you just got to avoid the processed foods. Eat whole foods, the foods that are in there, yeah. the, the state that they were in when you picked them. And a lot of fiber, if the bowels aren't moving two to three times a day, you want to maybe add something like a prune. Have a prune or two at night when you go to bed. Or I do chia seeds. I soak chia seeds in, in herbal tea, and I drink that every day. And that really gives you huh. the soluble fiber to push everything through the gut. Okay. So well, that's, that's perfect. Thank you Another so much. I'll, I'm going to go on your website and look at your super greens as well. Th- that's perfect, Lisa. That Thanks so much. All right. Yeah, folks, if you want to get the Super Greens, the Essential Source, they're on my website. If you want information on them, drjoesposito.com. Uh, also on Amazon, we have an Amazon uh, page, too, with the books and the supplements. You can go there if you have an Amazon account, a little easier for you. Follow me on Facebook because we send out stuff on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. It's always fun when I say that, and then I look at my accounts, and they all light up because you guys do that, which is great. Um, but really, the Super Greens, the Essential Source, just rock. And, and I say try for a month. It's relatively inexpensive. You're getting like 10 servings of raw fruits and vegetables, super, uh, prebiotics, probiotics, digestive of enzymes, complete multivitamin. It really is a pretty cool product. And I invented it for myself, actually. I invented it for myself a long time ago, and then I started um, uh, manufacturing because everybody wanted it. And if you want to make an appointment to come see us, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, and Stockbridge. You can do that on the website, drjoesposito.com, or you can just dial 844-44-DR-JOE. Hey, thanks for listening. I'll be on tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. and 7 to 9, and we'll hopefully catch you then.